Welcome in everybody as we look back at this past weekend's Valpo Baseball Series at Illinois State. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by the winning pitcher from Friday's game against the Redbirds and that's John Tiemann. And uh, John, well, you went out and you only had two runs to support and you made that enough. Maybe your best game in a Valpo uniform. What worked for you on Friday night? Um, I think just pitching to contact, throwing strikes. The defense played outstanding today or Friday as usual. Um, yeah, I think I only had like four strikeouts, so it was mostly just getting them to put the ball in play and relying on our defense to make plays. You mentioned the four strikeouts and those all coming in the last two innings and only two walks. Uh, how important was pitching to contact in terms of you getting deep into the game, and what's the strategy to pitch to contact in a game? Um, I guess in that particular game it helped uh, keep my pitch count really down. I think through even seven innings it was pretty low for – for just normal standards and you said the strikeouts were late in the game so then that could sort of push it up but yeah just keeping the pitch count low allowing me to go as deep as possible which is you know the starters job typically and uh, it just mainly comes from throwing strikes and getting the defense involved. The game had an extremely dramatic ending let's talk about yeah. that final play uh, just what was your perspective as you saw that hit just to the left of straightaway center and then Jaden making the diving catch? Yeah, off the bat, I thought it was for sure falling in there. And so it was sort of like, you know, disappointment, I guess. And then as it sort of developed, I saw Jaden running in there and diving, making the catch. And after that, it was pretty much just relief and excitement because, I mean, it was an outstanding play and just to end the game like that was pretty awesome. Let's look ahead at this point in the season, one series left in the regular season, then the conference tournament. Just what's the state of the team right now? What's the mindset going forward into this final stretch? Um, I think we have a pretty good mindset right now. I think we know that just from competing with every team so far, except for one, that we can play with anyone and we can beat anyone on any given day. So it's just, you know, keeping a consistent attitude, consistent approach, and just trying to go in into every game and, you know, just playing our best. There is John Team in the Friday starter for the Crusaders, and right now we shift gears and bring in the head coach, Brian Schmack. And, well, Brian, let's start with John. It was an outing against a team that's proven its ability to hit the ball, and you saw their offense the rest of the weekend. What was it that allowed John to limit Illinois State to one run in a complete game on Friday? Uh, you know, I think he, like he said, he, he pitched a contact. He was aggressive early. Uh, he got ahead of hitters at a really good pace, and, and he, uh, you know, limited his three ball counts. And, um, you know, the defense did play well behind him, too. So, you know, I think that uh, it's things that we always talk about, you know, just attacking the hitters and putting them on the defensive a little bit, and he was able to do that. Early in the year, we were able to talk about the offense thriving week in and week out, and this hasn't really been a question I've had to ask, but at this point, you need to get the offense going again. How do you do that? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes with just confidence. You know, I think he, sometimes hitters get in their own heads and try to change things up and kind of have to go back to what worked earlier in the year. And sometimes that's just a change in the mindset. You know, it's natural to go into the cage and figure out what's wrong. But I think, you know, guys have to kind of just look at themselves and, and kind of go back to what they were doing. So uh, the good thing is I think it can switch for those guys, you know, and, and it's not something that we have to spend another one or two months to work on. It can happen next game, you know, so we're confident in their abilities and, and, and it, it can change for the better. You saw Illinois State look like a really talented baseball team this weekend. I think it says everything about the Missouri Valley Conference in baseball that they're in the bottom half of the conference standings. And now that you're at this point in the year, you played almost everybody. What are your thoughts on the Valley? Yeah, it's extremely challenging. I think you have to be ready to go every single day. Um, you know, looking at Illinois State, the numbers, you know, um, like you said, they were in the bottom half. You saw the ERA. They were a really, really good ball club, you know, and really talented arms coming out of the bullpen. Uh, they put some great swings on the baseball. So, um, you know, they're, they're in the same boat. They played some, some great competition early on. Maybe that reflects a little bit of the record. But, um, you know, for us to, to, to just think we're going to show up on, on, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday is, and win is, is not the case. This weekend, always a big weekend when you have senior day, final home game of the year, a chance to send out a large senior class of 10 players. What do you remember about this senior group? Uh, I think they're very talented, you know, and, and uh, I, I think they're very, I guess, unselfish, you know, and, and it's been good. And it's always, it's an emotional weekend. You know, you see guys uh, in their last home game. I think they start to realize it at some point throughout the game, and uh, you just kind of feel for them. But, um, you know, it's a very talented talented group um, you know they're continuing to build this place and you know we've told them this is you know they're the first seniors that are in the Missouri Valley Conference they're kind of paving the way for the guys after them and uh, it's exciting for them. 
And then we'll be in Texas a week from today. I'll put you on the spot with an open-ended question here. What has to happen to put your team in the best position to be successful in the conference tournament next week? Uh, we have to play solid defense and we have to throw strikes. You know, we can't beat ourselves. It's kind of been our motto all year when we've lost games. You know, our record uh, in one-run games isn't very good. Um, we've given a lot of games away, I think. We've had opportunities to, to win series and win more games. And we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot in, in, in that respect. And we, had, we just have to... to to play to our capability and if we give them free bases and we give them extra outs in an inning um, it doesn't help us. There he is the head coach of the Crusaders Brian Schmack a midweek game against Chicago State scheduled for Tuesday three game home series starting on Thursday against Indiana State and then headed to Dallas Texas for the conference tournament next week. For all the latest in Valpo baseball stay tuned to ValpoAthletics.com.